Hi, we're Nathan and Charlene Gardner. We farm at Totra Creek, um, North Wongaray. Um, we appeared in series one. We're the Agrisi Legends. And we are currently milking 340 cows. We are fully certified um, March this year. So we went through a run-in period of three years, uh, going really well using Agrisi and having successful results. Behind us you will see our dry cows. They are due to calve 15th of July. We're not too concerned about condition. You can see why. Um, we have a dry off at the end of this month. Calves this year, just over 200 keepers. I lost four in total. Started off giving the calves 10 mil of agrisi in their milk troughs um, in the shed. They were getting fed silage and maize. Um, 10 mils were going in and then they went on to their trailer feeder and obviously still getting that 10 mil per calf um, till weaning once a day. They were fed from once a day from about a week, 10 days of age and they're thriving. Sick, a couple of them quite sick, they weren't even sucking properly so they got fed probably a couple of shots of 200 mils. And Tim Fahey, our Northland rep for Agrisi, actually called in and said, not looking good. Husband was actually gonna get rid of them. They were really, really bad. Not up walking, but they were not sucking. So they were weak, they were out of action. Um, gave them their 200 mils. And that kind of cemented my, um, yeah, the belief in agrisi. Uh, like I said, 200 mil. They sucked it from the bottle just with my finger. They were so weak. And um, two days later, they were up walking around. Um, amazing. These calves should have been got rid of. And they just came back. And Tim called in again and said, how are those calves? Did they make it? and I was able to say yes, yes they did. So in total lost four. Um, they weren't due to the sickness, they were probably, you know, they weren't going to make it really from day one. So um, really wrapped with our results with Agrisi. Uh, we've got really good, calm, quiet stock and yeah, happy, really, really happy. Um, we haven't used anything apart from Agrisi for our animal health. So um, to get this far through the organic program, um, animal health being one of our major issues or thought we were going to have issues, um, we've had no concerns at all. Since starting three years ago, we'd been adding, uh, using about 10 mil a day for the cows uh, from calving through to the end of mating to help keep cell count down. And then we'd been applying the soil conditioner and pasture foliar at five litres to the hectare behind the cows. And we've always noticed that when they go onto sprayed pastures that the cell count used to drop dramatically. And three years on now, um, our cell, we used to always have a problem with our cell count, keeping it under the 300 threshold. Where this year we've only had about 10 cows for the whole season with any mastitis and they've been cleared up just by using animal health tonic 200 mil down the straight down the throat twice a day for three days which always clears them clears them up and our highest cell count for the season this so far has been about 280,000 was only sitting around the about the 250 at the moment and we're at the 15th, 20th of May. Um, and cow, the volume is sort of, has dropped down due to the you know, later part of the season, getting closer to dry off. So it's the best cell count that we've ever had for this time of the year. Um, 
We were just digging in the paddock here just a few few minutes ago, looking at the clover and worm counts. And we was getting about 28, 30 worms per spade width. And we we're just pulling up this big long clover on the side here. Um, and had plenty of nodules on it for releasing nitrogen. It's the most grass we've had this season heading into the winter with no nitrogen use. Cow conditions, the best it's been with majority of our cows are at calving condition, five condition score. We've got a handful at around the four at the moment. We've got plenty of maize and hay which has all been made on farm this year to lift body condition once we've dried off at the end of May. We ended up with a 12% empty rate this year and we're aiming to bring that down even further this coming year, hoping to get back into the single figures.